Tubby and Timothy liked playing in the snow together. Let's build a snowman! Timothy scooped up snow with his hands and pressed the snow into a ball. He set the ball on the ground and rolled it through the snow. The ball grew bigger and bigger as it rolled. Soon the ball was big enough to be the bottom of the snowman. Now we need another ball, but this one needs to be a little smaller. Let me try it. He scooped up snow into his paws and made a ball. He rolled the ball through the snow until it was just a little smaller than the first ball. Timothy carefully placed Cubby's smaller ball on top of his bigger ball. <sighs> All right, now I'll make one more ball for the head. This will be the smallest ball. Timothy made a ball for the head, and then he reached up high and placed the ball on top of the snowman. Yay, we're done! Not yet. Our snowman still needs a face and some arms. Katie Collie ran up with two sticks in her mouth. You can use these for the arms. Thanks, Katie. Let's see what else we can find. Cubby and Timothy stomped through the snow to the petting zoo. Lovey, do you have anything for our snowman? Hmm. She trotted to her stall and came back with a red hair ribbon and a carrot. What about these? Those are perfect. Next, Cubby and Timothy stopped by Timothy's house. They found an old hat and a scarf. Now they could finish their snowman. Let's say our core truth together. Jesus came to save us. Cubby and Timothy forgot to put eyes on their snowman. Sometimes snowmen have eyes made out of black stones or buttons. Cubby friends, do you think the snowmen can see with their eyes? Why not? Snowmen aren't alive and they don't have real eyes like you and I do. Cubby friends, what do you see with your eyes right now? The Bible tells us about a man named Bartimaeus who could not see with his eyes at all. Bartimaeus was blind. Bartimaeus would often sit by the road and ask people for money so he could buy food. One day, Bartimaeus was sitting by the road near Jericho when he heard lots of people, lots of voices talking and feet shuffling. Why are so many people walking by on the road today? asked Bartimaeus. Jesus of Nazareth is walking by, said the people near him. Bartimaeus had heard about Jesus. Jesus was God's son, the savior. Bartimaeus knew that only Jesus could make him see. Jesus, cried Bartimaeus, help me. Shh, be quiet, the people told Bartimaeus. Don't bother Jesus right now. Bartimaeus cried out even louder. Jesus, Jesus, please help me. Jesus stopped. Call him, he said. The people called to Bartimaeus, be happy and get up. Jesus is calling you. Bartimaeus threw off his coat, leapt to his feet, and came to Jesus. What do you want me to do for you? asked Jesus. Lord, I want to see, said Bartimaeus. See, said Jesus, your faith has made you well. Right away Bartimaeus could see. He followed Jesus on the road, shouting, Praise God! Praise God! He couldn't stop talking about the great things God had done for him. Bartimaeus knew that Jesus was the savior God had promised to send. God's son, Jesus, came to love people, help them, and save them from sin. 1 John 4.14 says, the father has sent his son to be the savior of the world. 1 John 4.14 the Father has sent His Son to be the Savior. 1 John 4.14 The Father has sent His Son to be the Savior of the world. Remember, Savior means Jesus, the one who saves us from sin. Let's say our verse together. 1 John 4.14 the Father has sent His Son to be the Savior of the world. Let's see our review verse now. 
Matthew 6, 11. Give us this day our daily bread. Great job, Cubby friends. You could put a green apple sticker at the top of the page and a Katie Collie sticker at the bottom of the page. Have your grown-up helper sign the handbook and don't forget to complete the weekly check-in. I'll see you next week.